Nice to see you. You both look fresh. Yeah. We got some sleep. Yeah. <laughs> How long did mommy work? Long time. Long time. <laughs> Put oranges in there. No, you know, no oranges, nothing there. It's just um, just lemons. It tastes like oranges. Mm -hmm. Just lemons. No oranges. Hi, I'm Sheila. I'm now nearly two years in uh, Decatur, Illinois. Oh, I joined uh, here way back in February 2018. Originally, I came from the Philippines. I worked there for four years as a nurse. Lived in Bristol for 17 years and adventure <laughs> to come to the USA. I'm Christine um, Kennedy Hanlon. I live in Decatur, Illinois, and I work at Decatur Memorial Hospital um, Emergency Room. I'm from Kingston, Jamaica. My name is um, Christina Camille Miguel. I go by KC. I'm from the Philippines, and I'm right now I'm working in Decatur, Illinois. I've been here two and a half years now. My husband's name is Gerald. He's the one helping me <laughs> to uh, get through all the chores here and also run errands for the kids. My first daughter is Julia. She's 13 years old. My second one is Vincent. He is eight years old. And my youngest is Samantha, who is six years old. Ruel Hanlon is 20 years old. He currently attends Richland Community College, where he wants to pursue a career in veterinary medicine. And I have Rolando. He is actually no, 11 years old, mm -hmm. and he attends um, Parsons Elementary School. He's doing pretty well, and I'm proud of him. My daughter is Ava. She is four. She just turned four and she goes to the Y for daycare. And where I get my yogurt? <laughs> <laughs> um, my husband is Arnold, and he works in Caterpillar. He's a machinist there. Hey, rice. You know Filipinos like to eat rice, right? Three times a day? from breakfast to dinner. This is pork, sour pork. <laughs> Normally I woke up at four o'clock in the morning. Even though the hospital is quite near, I just woke up four o'clock, get ready. And normally leave the house around 5.45 in the morning. And then normally the shift starts at six o'clock and then finishing at 6.30, sometimes you you finish late at seven, but come back again and then catch up with the kids and normally sleep between 10 or 11 o'clock in, in the evening. Currently I do what we call mid shift, which is actually 6.45 p.m. to 7 a.m. in the mornings. I would be up by 12 midday, try to start getting ready for work at about 6 p.m. I still use my watch. From Jamaica. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, you might want to help me find my back of my earring. Oh, I found it. I got it. So this is a special coffee that I use. Then. Gonna do my coffee. My sleep shit is basically go to work, um, come off. I funny enough, I can't sleep longer than two hours. Go we'll get him at school at two, and then at about four or five o'clock, I put my head down. By six, I'm up out of here, back until I'm off duty again. Ready, close? Yeah. Here. Thank you. A normal day, um, I try to nap. Then I wake up, i say around five. My husband would be here already with my daughter. <laughs> and I drink coffee and we eat dinner together. You finish your yogurt? Try it. Mmm. Mmm. We don't sit down. And then I take a shower and go to work. Uh, 
So about 6, I try to leave 6.30, 6.40 uh, to get ready for work. I love you. Sleep well tonight, okay? Okay. Bye. 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 I work in intensive care unit in the Gator Memorial Hospital. So typical day is like you just need to um, assess your patient, coordinate with the doctors. We normally do assessment and then washing the patient and now it's just attending to their needs. I managed to lay to the plan for the day and also what the doctors plan for the patient. Yeah, I'm lucky I have two today so not too bad. Hand washing is very important. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, this is Omnicell. Oh, yeah. It's better than Texas. Oh, yeah. Is it better? Yeah. Because it blinks when you uh, get your medicine. So it's a lot easier and it's faster. So it blinks. We get our medicine, so it's quite safe also. Sometimes you can be looking yeah. after two um, intubated patients. On top of that, you also got an IMC patient, and that's quite tough. This morning, I'm on the in uh, IMC care, meaning it's an intermediate care, but um, most likely they just mix this unit with an uh, ICU patient. So right now, we have more patients than the ICU, and we have we are more ICU than um, the other side also. I love my job. I consider my job as my vocation. Not only I earn from it, and also uh, this is my calling now. And I also think of my family, like because um, the way I look, up my, I look after my patient, I will consider that that's how I also want my family to be looked after. On a normal day, I come to work, like I said, I reach there about 10 minutes till 7. I take my stuff, like my stethoscope and um, pen and paper. It's our tracker, like if a patient calls um, from the room and it will, there's a sensor inside the room, it'll automatically shut off the call light. It like records where we're at, how long are we staying in the room. We start handover or report at seven. Handover is the outgoing shift would give you a report on what happened or they talk about the patients. Meds are orders that are pending, that are on call. So if she gets sent down, it will take a little while longer. Oh. Uh, I could go back to see the patient, do the assessments. We introduce ourselves and like tell them, I'll be a nurse for 12 hours. Your seat that has to be the whole mouth with the nose. Right, eat some dinner because by midnight, you won't be able to eat anything. I like to talk about the plan for the night, like, okay, for tonight, since it's nighttime, they always expect that they're going to sleep. <laughs> Most of the patients do. If it's busy, I won't be sitting here. <laughs> it's Casey. Um, the patient in room 3554, um, they're really getting concerned about uh, developing wealth. When patients are going home, they've been through a lot, and then you send them home, they're happy, they can walk, um, they're doing things by themselves which they didn't do when they come in. And I take pride into that, like, hey, I was part of that, I made them feel better, I made them go home. <laughs> when you go to work, you uh, clock in, always at signing, then um, you check there's a folder that they have with your assignments we usually get four patients and they call that zone so four patients in your zone as soon as i get the handoff i usually try to go to the room to say hey i'm christine i've taken over from this nurse are you okay is there anything you want me to do for you and just do a brief check okay <laughs> i always give my love a hug all right. This is Michelle. Nice right, to meet you. Night secretary. 
Ruel Hanlon is 20 years old. He wants to pursue a career in veterinary medicine. He's currently doing part-time work at Heather Memorial Hospital in the radiology department. Mm -hmm. And we behave as if we don't know each other sometimes. Sorry. Actually, I am looking at my charts to make sure that the charges yeah, are captured yes, appropriately yeah, yes. and to uh, make sure that there isn't any outstanding orders or procedures. Well, yes. Most important thing for me is getting a patient satisfied, keeping that patient safe. And sometimes you have a patient that comes into the ER after sitting and talking to that patient, you realize that, hey, I have a kid at home that is smoking and this is my real issue. So sometimes sitting down and talking to the patient, you realize that there's something underlying and sitting down and sharing with that patient to say, hey, I have been there and this was what I did. And really when they come and they say, you know what, thank you very much. It really helped. It makes me want to go to work because that one patient make you feel as if, yeah, I am, I am changing the world. I'm doing something different. One thing I felt about embracing in nursing school is that we saw the whole patient. And we for the ER at DMH, there are certain requirements for you as a nurse to work in the um, emergency room. In order for you to might be operate on your own in the trauma room or be in charge of the trauma room or as a leader, if you have a trauma, you must have what they call TNCC. That's a trauma nurse core course. They really want you guys to ask questions about what your role is and how. I'm Arnold Miguel. We first met high school. Yes, we, we were, were best, best friends, friends in high school. We got married in 2012. And we said, okay, well, we're getting old. We're gonna <laughs> it's, try. It's, it's I think it's try. time to have a child. Um, so we had a beautiful Ava, January 2016. You're going to be a nurse? She wants to be a nurse. No. She said she wants to be a ballerina. <laughs> Is he happy now? I hear. Do you hear his heartbeat? Uh, I think you sound like hurting. We can go anywhere, but what opportunity would should we give to our daughter? We both understood that she'll have a really, really good opportunity here. Do you want to be a snowman? A water bottle and a hole? It's going to start soon! We better hurry! Yes, we are. Wait. Okay, y'all. Yeah. Over here. What? <laughs> It's the beginner tumbling class, so they would do the forward rolls and cartwheels. And she tries to do the cartwheel. She hasn't. She doesn't know it yet, <laughs> but she's trying. I do two things: block and jump, bear walk. This word could be confused with a similar word. The word is chimney. So we go up on the stage. We sit in a line of chairs right here. I was shaking. It maybe was the cold that added on to it, but I was really shaking and very nervous. Sometimes they say the word and you don't hear it very well or based on where you're from, you don't understand how they say it. Legend, legend, L-E-G-E-N-D, -E -E. legend, correct. Some parents might say, all right, I want my son to become a doctor. For me, whatever they want to do, don't do it for me, do it for you. Whatever you want, do it. What is a word you would use to describe your mom? Supercalifragilistic ex <laughs> It's a good one. Oh dear. What does that mean about your mom? It means a lot of things. It means amazing, honest, lovable, a lot. It means every positive word. At first, you know, before you go to a 
a different place that you really don't know anybody. Uh, it helps that you know that a Shearwater nurse or somebody so, is already there. So when we came, we have like a welcoming group. Yeah. Yes, so they said, oh, you're new. So then they um, arranged like a lunch or a dinner yeah. on whoever's apartment. It's like, a big help for those guys who are starting here that we felt the same way. Like we are here to help you guys to like start from the beginning because mm -hmm. we've been there. It was an adjustment and it was good that I was also helped by the previous nurses who was here first. So uh, when they came, they were also helped by the previous nurses. So it was kind of like a domino effect. Most of our Shearwater nurses are Filipinos. They are excellent team players. They, they do work together. They really support each other. If you're on a shift and they're working, they'll come over to you to say, hey, do you need help with anything? When I came to Decatur, it's like you're building also that sort of like having a family. And it's so nice because you started at the same, you know, it's only like they're only a year ahead of you. And most likely they also came from different places. So it's nice that you adjust together and sharing experiences. So. The community you all have built is so powerful and this is truly like an example of what we would love to see at every hospital where we staff nurses. You guys are changing Decatur as a city, you're changing DMH as a hospital, you're impacting the patients that you work with. We think you're amazing, we think you're doing great work, it does not go unnoticed and you really are having a much bigger impact than you might